Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the Dragon Oracle cards today because we're in the year of the Dragon and the Dragons are activating things this year and really helping out. And I've got some good news for you today. You are really triggering something deep within your person. They really do love you and they intend to tell you that. And they are working big time right now on coming back to you, on working on themselves because whatever you're doing you're doing it right so keep doing what you're doing because you are surrendering trusting the love knowing that you can't miss out on this love and therefore you're operating now in the energy not only of surrender but acceptance which is opening the doors which means you're not sitting at home waiting around you're actually living your life you're going out you're doing things you're starting to enjoy life you're in a high vibration the sun is shining on you and they are aware of that they're checking you out on social media they're asking people about you. They're kind of coming to you in the 5D and dreams, actually projecting to you. They want to know what you're doing because you are on their mind. And it's been coming through very clearly. It came up this weekend and it came up last weekend. They are being triggered by what you're up to right now. They're watching your social media, especially at the weekends. You know, if you're going out with friends, if you're doing things... Even if you're sitting at home, because you're surrendering and not sitting by the phone or consistently checking your phone or checking their social media, it's working. And for those of you who may be still struggling with this, maybe you are still checking the social media or you are waiting by the phone or you're not going out and doing stuff. This is your sign of what to do, how to step into your power, because that will create significant change. But I know many of you will be resonating with the energy I'm talking about. So I'm going to bring in the Dragon Oracle to connect with the energy around you, them in the journey to see what's going on and what dragons are helping and why. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So we're going to keep it very short and sweet by just using this one deck. So what's the energy around you today? What's the energy around you today? Jump straight out on the floor. This is the energy around you and this will be the dragon that's helping you. So, you know, I'm excited to see what dragon is coming through because you're in your power. What's the energy around your person today? And the energy around the journey jumped out. So there's quite a few dragons helping with the journey and I'm not surprised with the energy that's happening and shifting. I've got two cards sticking out the deck as well. So let's see what's going on. Now, the first thing I'm really being drawn to, and this is the first time they've drawn me to this using this deck with this image. I use this deck all the time, but I've never been drawn to the image so powerfully before I even turn the cards over. Look at all that fire coming out of that dragon there. So the fire dragon is blasting things out of the way. But I'm really seeing this energy as a water dragon or... Even an air dragon, you know, air dragons are really the blue dragons coming through here. Archangel Michael's dragon as well, creating the way. Things are being shifted around right now. Things have been moved around up in the air, changes. But what I'm really seeing that fire as is, you know that the best course of action for you is to respond with love. Because then when you respond with love, there's no fiery thoughts or words coming out of your mouth or your mind. Because thoughts have power. What you think about, you bring about. What you speak, you speak into existence. So if you're speaking negative things or things that cause problems, pain, cruel words, anger, that's what you're going to manifest in your life. And I feel that they are feeling very angry right now because they're angry at themselves because they're afraid that you're going to move on. And they love you. They know they messed up. They know that they could have behaved differently, communicated with you, opened up to you. And they've now got to deal with the consequences of their actions. So they are now facing the consequences of their previous actions. And it's making them very angry and mad. And this is what they are spewing out of their mouth. So, you know, they may be having really bad arguments with their karmic partner right now. Or they may be arguing with family or friends or even people at work. And if you're in silence right now, you are being protected from that kind of energy. Because you're doing you, you know, you're in your power and it's making them mad. They're happy that you're in your power 
but they are also angry that they're not there by your side. And that's what they're working on. So the best course of action sometimes is to say nothing because you don't want to react to anything that's going on. You want to respond with love. So sometimes the best thing you can do is be silent and then you're not rising to what's going on because I feel they may even try and provoke you to get a reaction. I spoke about that not long ago where you trigger them so much, you know, not meaning to, you know, this is just you being you and going out and doing things and living your life. It's triggering them so much that they are actually trying to get reactions out of you. So we've got the water dragon. Now, this is really powerful because the water dragon puts the fire out. Okay, think of all that fire there. You know, the water dragon puts the fire out. Think about when you're going through anything in your physical body. What do you do? You drink water because it cleanses you and it brings in a healing. So the water dragon is helping you right now to flow easily around any obstacles, to flow easily around your life. The water dragon is helping you to just be in the flow and to be in the energy of the now and to not try and force anything. So you're really adapting to how to go about this journey where you've realized there's no point in me trying to force this or communicate anymore. I just need to do me and breathe and be in the moment and allow things to flow. And that's a powerful energy to be in. And that means that you easily move around any obstacles. It means everything starts flowing to you. It means everything you've previously tried to make happen or force or work for just starts flowing into your life. And you've got Christ light with you, which means Jesus is helping you to respond with love, to forgive, to say, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And then look the other way and focus on something else. Instead of focusing on negatives, you're turning your attention to positives. You're looking for the blessings in situations. You're looking on the bright side. So the Christ light and love are flowing through you. And that's also developing your psychic abilities. Your psychic ability right now is to trust the journey to see beyond the illusion and go with the flow. You're choosing to do that. You're making the decision now to go with the flow. And that develops your intuition. It allows you to feel more things, to know yourself better. When you go with the flow and you start enjoying where you are, you fall in love with life because you get a thing going on with the universe. And then the universe starts communicating to you with more signs and more synchronicities and more love. And then you feel more blessed and more loving. So the universe will give you more things to be grateful for and more love and more blessings. And it goes on and on. And you step more and more into your power. And this is really what I'm connecting with right now. And the green energy is also about healing. Lots of heart healing taking place in you. Feeling alive again. Feeling like your heart's being restored again. Your heart that was breaking before is now beating for life itself. So you're flowing easily around your life and that's very triggering to them. Now the energy around them is Thor's red, black and gold dragon. Now this is really powerful because Thor is strength. Whenever I connect with Thor, I always think about Archangel Michael. So they are being given the strength they need to change their life. This is a definite huge time of rapid transition for them and huge transformation. This is why when they are, you know, going through these changes, they see numbers like 555, or they start seeing dragonflies or butterflies. And you may see these numbers too, to show you that they are going through them the same 22, which is also 222, guided by the universe. So this is a time of rapid change for them. And they're being guided to relax. They are safe. They can handle what's going on. And again, look at this fire coming out of this dragon here. Look at the green energy and the light in you. This is a very light energy. When I'm connecting with this dragon, it's purity, cleansing, purification, healing. Like real beauty coming out of your mouth. Light-hearted energy, relaxing. Not You haven't got a need to shout and bawl or scream. You just need to let things flow and be and breathe. Whereas this dragon is on fire, it's spewing all this fire out of its mouth. It's angry. And this dragon is doing the right thing because it's blasting things out of the way and it's creating a way, it's creating change in their lives. But they are also feeling this powerful need to change and speak their truth. And that's why there's anger there. That's why you've triggered them. And it's like you're triggering them in another way. You're triggering another awakening in them. You're, you know, if you felt like, 
they were the one on top and you were struggling, things have definitely turned around. And you're being guided to relax because you are safe. You don't need to change anything you're doing right now apart from operating in your best light and version. So this Thor's red, black and gold dragon is protecting you both in times of change. Now, the energy around the journey today, air and water dragon, wow. So this is a dragon that's got air and water combined within it, helping you both to connect to higher frequencies so that you operate in a higher way so you don't get triggered by the ego. And what I'm seeing here as well, I'm actually seeing these and, you know, you may see them as other things. Here. You could see those as planes as well flying through the air, travel, but I'm seeing those as dragonflies, this is what they show me intuitively, so trust your intuition, this is what you're being guided to know, you are developing your psychic abilities, and you are open to enlightenment to express your inner song, and I also feel that you may hear songs that pop in your mind, that help them to express to you how they truly feel, and those could be messages about love, and messages about them taking action towards you, and they want to express their inner song. They want to jump out of the ocean and show you their truth. So they are open now to what they're going through. And the crystal yellow dragon is opening you both up to higher learning and wisdom. Now, it's very bright. I'm going to put down the blind because the sun is so bright. I can't really see the card very well. So remember, we have to adjust sometimes to see things clearer. And this is expanding your crown chakra, ready for illumination. So you can walk the higher spiritual path. So there's definitely a solar plexus energy coming in as well with the yellow there. Lots of healing, connecting with your intuition and your crown chakra. And whenever you're connecting with your solar plexus, you're also connecting with your crown chakra because they are connected. You know, when you're feeling something in your gut, you're very likely going to feel it in your crown chakra. Tingles on the top of your head. And the sunshine yellow dragon is helping you to receive answers and signs and synchronicities through nature and the animal kingdom so that you receive answers. So you know when you see a stag, it's the promise of union or when you see a bee, you know it's a sign of a miracle or communication. And that deer there is showing you that you are kind and compassionate and loving. And you're also here to serve, to be kind, to be gentle. So I feel that some of you may also be helping animals right now. You may have animals around you in your home, like pets, or you may be looking after rescue animals. Or you may rescue an animal, you may be there for an animal. And if you are in an energy where an animal is in pain or distress or there's something wrong, you can call an Archangel Ariel and the Sunshine Yellow Dragon to bring in assistance. You know, this happened to me not long ago where there was a baby magpie in distress in the back garden and I called an Archangel Ariel to come in and help it and my heart was breaking for this magpie, but it, it got better and it flew off. So you're also here to serve animals, to serve the world, to serve nature and they give me fear to release fear, to heal, respect and understand yourself and others better and there's fear there. So I definitely feel this yellow dragon is coming in to help you to help humanity. It's part of your mission. It's why you come to earth. And also the air and fire dragon is expanding your creative energies. So you can harness your creativity and be excited with enthusiasm about what's next to communicate your passion. So I feel this fire and air dragon is actually around your person, helping them to communicate what they're feeling to you to communicate their passion for you, their desire, their love, to be able to show you the truth because they are really like this volcano right now that's ready to explode. There's a lot of fire energy in them. So don't be surprised if you're seeing a lot of heat in the world, volcanoes, fires, because this is about what's happening inside and what's happening inside comes out in projection on the outside. So there's big changes going on in the connection to bring them towards you and you're being prepared, both of you are being prepared to connect with each other face to face, heart to heart, having that heart to heart conversation. You're being prepared so your hearts can connect with the higher facets of the cosmic heart so you can open your heart to each other, be warm hearted to connect with the diamond light, which is also reminding you of your value, so they can show you they value you, so you can connect with the love of the universe, which is really what I'm connecting with for you, so you're connecting with the love of the universe right now, and that's triggering them, it's triggering them to connect with their truth, to be able to express their passion to you, and their desire, and their love, 
and the dragons are assisting. So you keep doing what you're doing. Your water dragon is helping you to go with the flow. And Thor's red, black and gold dragon is helping them to make changes. And the air and water dragon is connecting you with each other in the 5D helping you to trust your intuition and know your truth. The yellow dragon and the sunshine yellow dragon are working together to open your heart, to open your solar plexus and your crown chakra so you notice what's going on around you, so you can help others and animals and the world, so you can be there in service and assist the planet with your love and support. The air and fire dragon is expanding your creativity so you can work on your goals and dreams and better yourself, but also so they can come forward with passion. And you've both been prepared for this heart to heart conversation when it comes in. So you can operate through fear, not love. Oh, you said, see, that's what they're saying. So you can operate with love, not fear, instead of fear, not love, because that's what's coming through for them. They're in fear because they're afraid of losing your love. So they want to operate in love, but they're in fear and it needs turning around. So I'm smiling because the angels are showing that there's been this shift. Whereas you were previously in fear, you're now in love, where they were in this energy of, you know, going with the flow in a way and just going with things and eat, sleep, repeat and just allowing things to happen to them. They are now in absolute fear of losing you and that's turning things around. So the rose pink dragon is saying, just fall in love with life, keep doing what you're doing. And the universe is blessing you so much. And it really does, you know. I remember when I went out one time and, you know, I was just seeing so many blessings everywhere. I'd go into the toilets somewhere and there'd be a heart um, graffitied on the back of the door. And it would say you were loved or a song would come on and it would just come on at the right moment to let me know I was blessed. And people would help me out. Or even if you go into a coffee shop and you get a free one on your card or, you know, something good happens to you. That's the universe. You know, if you want to buy something, you go into a store and there's a discount on what you want to buy. That's blessings. You are constantly being blessed by the universe. And the rose pink dragon is helping you to embody that that love. Archangel Jophiel is helping you to see the love all around you, within you, and to connect you with the universal power of love that exists in you because you were source. So yes, you've been prepared for communication and you're going to come together and all of that. But the more that you forget that for now and the more you focus on falling in love with the universe, the quicker this will come. I hope this helps. And also don't feel guilty for doing you. Don't feel guilty for triggering your twin because that's exactly what you need to do for their awakening. And it's happening for their soul growth and their learning so they can move forward and become that leader they've come here to be. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.